Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay Malloy, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to introduce to you some new inserts for this video that I have created for my shop. They will be sold um, at three months at a time, and I am super excited about these. Um, I will be doing a plan with me starting um, the first week of July in these inserts. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and show First off, the first set, um, these are gonna be printable inserts. So you can um, go to my shop and then download them directly from the shop and you will get a zip file with the PDF. And the zip file will also include instructions on how to print them um, and cut them. So the first set will include the months July, August, and September. Um, July will be starting in the first week, starting on the second, the first full week of July. Um, and inside, um, I wanted to have it very neutral. Um, I am a huge lover of stickers, and I wanted something that basically had the full day for each day, including the weekends, um, but also just was very minimal and didn't have just extra fluff. Um, so inside here, I will just do a quick flip through of this um, to show you what it looks like. So on the first page, and these, I um, bound these, which I am also going to show you how to do in just a moment. Um, so I, I bound these with two staples. On the first page, you have your um, month at a glance calendar for 2018, and these are dated. Uh, um, and then you have a notes page right here on the front, and each notes, notes page has a different little motivational quote um, in the bottom right corner. Then turning to the first full week, um, I included a sidebar section with just the month name at the top and then full sections. Um, and the lines are dotted, so they're very similar to the Erin Condren feel and it makes it feel a little bit lighter and not so bold. Um, and so on the first two pages, you have Monday through Friday. Then on the second part, you have Saturday, Sunday, and then to go along with the same way that I plan, um, I use this section as a favorite memory, same as using, um, if you have a like, happy thought or something. Um, I also like to keep my planners as memory keepsakes, so I like to write down currently, um, so I have a currently box. And then I like to use my planners as a meal planning, so um, you can either use this for this week or plan ahead like I do. Um, for your dinners. And then this page is another notes page with a different inspirational quote. Um, so that is what the weeks look like. Very similar to um, look and feel of an Erin Condren with some added bits in the notes page. Um, and then just keeping it very simple. So the July printable goes from July 2nd and ends on the 29th. And you're probably thinking, well, that's not the full month. Um, that's why I am selling these in groups of three. Um, so you will get July, August, September all together. So th since they are from Monday to Sunday, um, the 29th is a Sunday, you get the end, end of July. Here's August here, starting here. So it will be July 30th, 31st, and then starts August. Um, so that's how I'll have them moving forward as well, um, if you are curious. Um, this one starts with full August, ending with September 2nd, um, because they fall on the weekend, and then the September Printable, looks similar. All the quotes on every um, in every booklet are different, so they're not the same every week. And so this one starts on the 3rd and ends on the 30th. So um, you have the, the full month minus 
the first two days, which are back here. So these will be sell, sold together July, August, September. And then the following months I have also available October, November, and December. And again, similar, very similar layout. And, but the only differences is, are the quotes in the bottom right corner for the notes pages. Um, so yeah, I also wanted to show you really quick on how to, how I bound um, the sides of my printable inserts. And you can use these for any inserts. Um, what you'll need to do is you'll print them off following the instructions, then fold them like so. Then once you take it open, you'll need a push pin and then two staples. Um, so the first thing that I do is make sure these are all lined up. Make sure that's lined up once you squeeze a little bit. You can see they're all lined up on that edge. You just take and you can use a planner for this or the side of your table or anything really. I'm going to use a planner really quick. I've got just a mini happy planner right here. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want to put the top and then just poke a hole. So again, I'm leaning this kind of over the edge here. Then you're just going to take your staple and line this up and kind of put a little dent on where you think the where the end is. Poke another hole. Easy peasy. Then take that staple and you flip it over. Put the staple in those new little holes that you just made. Push down. Then I take a piece of bone, or um, you could even take a um, maybe like a hard card or a ruler or something like that. And then you're just bending down the staple. Easy. I will zoom in so you can see it real close for the second one. So again, just take out um, a hard surface that you can put your planner over on the edge with and take your push pin. Make sure it's all lined up on the edges. Push the, um, you can see the planner is a little bit over the edge. Then I'm just going to select a spot for the end piece, push down so it's pushed all the way through, pull that out, and then just take your staple like so, and now I've figured out where the end will go, push down again so it goes through, pull that out. Take your staple, flip, and just stick those through the holes. Then all that's left is to push down each piece. You can use your fingers like I just did with that one. Um, use this to kind of move around the staple a little bit, and then voila, you're done. Easy peasy. So here is the second set. The second set will be October, November, December. Um, again, sold in threes, and these are dated. Um, the size for these is B6, and I try to make them as simple and neutral as possible without too many frills, um, and really just, just, you know, to the point. Because I know a lot of people, especially if you're watching this channel, you probably love stickers. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure that, um, I'm hoping you guys will love this as much as I do. I'm excited to use these. It's just simple, no extra lines or anything that you need to cover up with 
um, any whiteout or anything like that. Um, just really simple and neutral. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and make sure you check these out. I will leave a link down below. Um, it's very simple. Just to remember, thestickyfox.com, and it will direct you to my Etsy shop, and you can find these on there. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.